In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a simple free shipping bar in WooCommerce. You will be able to use a simple shortcode and place it wherever you want, in your cart page, in your shop page, or even in your home page or in your header, to show a free shipping bar widget. It will work in Gutenberg, it will work in Elementor, in Bricks, Breakdance, or whatever page builder you're using. And this will be a handy enhancement to help you increase your store revenue. Before starting, let me introduce the sponsor of this video, WP Codebox, the plugin that I use to manage all my code snippets into my WordPress websites. Using WP Codebox, you will be able to manage all your code snippets in a centralized way across all your different websites using the cloud feature. And you will be able to save and store any kind of snippet, PHP, JavaScript, CSS, HTML, and any other type of snippet you might need. Plus, you will be able to easily create standalone plugins starting from your snippets. And I'm just scratching the surface because WP Codebox, it's a complete solution to manage all your code snippets in a very professional yet intuitive way. So make sure to go and check out WP Codebox using my affiliate link in the description box down below. And now let's get started and see how you can create a great and effective free shipping bar for your WooCommerce store. Three, two, one. Let's go. Now I want to show you how you can enable into your shop page and into your cart page, for example, or whatever you want in your website, a free shipping bar like this one. Basically like this, your visitors will know that if they spend a certain amount of money, they will unlock free shipping for their order. So in my case, I'm using Elementor, but you can use Gutenberg, you can use Bricks, whatever you want. Of course, the design is completely customizable. Now let's go and see how this is going to work. I'm going to add to cart a product and I'm going to see that immediately the shipping bar here has been updated without the need to refresh the page. And if I continue adding some products, I will see that when the threshold is reached, I will unlock the free shipping. If I go on my cart page, voila, I have the same message appearing here in the cart page. And if I remove a product, as you can see, this bar is going to be updated automatically. Let me go back here and I add another product. And when I go to the checkout, I will see that I will have free shipping in my WooCommerce cart. We're going to add this functionality using one simple code snippet that will enable for you one simple short code. You can download the code snippet directly from my free resources. You will find the link in the description box down below. And I will also print the link here on the screen right now. wproads.com slash whobar. All right, let's subscribe here. When you subscribe here, you will get access to my newsletter where I send weekly news about my tutorials to help you create successful WordPress websites and e-commerces. But of course, if you are not interested, you can unsubscribe at any time. Let's go and access. This is the page where you will find all the resources. There are some important links that you can use if you want to reach some tools that I recommend and use myself, like WP Codebox to save and manage all your code snippets. Elementor Pro to create your websites, Hostinger to have a blazing fast hosting provider for your websites or your clients' websites. A quick link to my latest WooCommerce and Elementor free course. I strongly suggest you to have a look at this one because it's a huge tutorial where you can find everything you need to set up a professional e-commerce with WooCommerce and Elementor Pro. Now we can scroll down and we can see that this is gonna be the code snippet that we need in order to enable the functionality. Let's go and copy this code, all right, and let's go now into our website. Now, in order for you to enable this code, you will need to have a code snippet plugin installed on your website. If you go on plugins and you click on add plugin, you can search for code snippets and you will find a lot of different plugins. You really have a lot of choice. But in my case, I will use WP Codebox. Here we are. This is my favorite plugin to manage all my code snippets because it's intuitive and at the same time really advanced. My favorite feature is that you can save all your snippets to the cloud and you can reuse them very easily across all your websites. So if you manage more than one website in your WordPress daily routine, this is gonna be very handy. If you're interested, I will leave you the link of my WP Codebox review in the description box down below. And I will also leave you the link to go and visit WP Codebox website where you can try for free this plugin just by clicking on try and subscribing here, or you can directly purchase by clicking on pricing and you can see that you have different licenses starting at $39 per year, or you can also choose a lifetime license. Remember to choose a plan that includes the cloud feature if it is a feature that matters for you. 
When you buy your license at WP Codebox, you can then go and click on Downloads, and you will be able to download your plugin and install it directly into your WordPress website. You will find then the plugin settings down here under WP Codebox 2 item, and when you click, you will see this interface. Pretty easy, but also powerful. Here we can create a new snippet. Of course, you will follow the steps that you will need to do, depending on the code snippets plugin that you're using, and you can paste inside here the code. Be careful to delete everything here and just copy and paste the code that you found on my free resources. All right, this is the code. Let's give this code a name, WooCommerce Free Shipping Bar, and this is gonna be the short code that we need to place into our pages in order for the shipping bar to appear. In my case, I'm going to save and I'm going to enable this code snippets. All right. Then I'm going to my cart page, and in my case, I'm going to place the short code inside here. I'm using Elementor, so I will just need to use a text editor or a simple short code widget. In my case, I will paste the short code here. All right. And I will go and have a look from the front end. I will publish now. I'll go and check my cart page and uh, that's it. It is already working, you see. Now my threshold, of course, it is uh, 50 euros in my case, but you need to adjust this based on the settings that you have on your free shipping into WooCommerce. We will come there in a few seconds. And in my case, I will add the same shipping bar above my filters to make it appear like this. Okay, let's go and do it. I'm using the text editor because it's going to give me some more options when I want to manage the design of my shortcode. So I'm going to place my shortcode inside here and then I'm going to style the widget. Here we are. Now I've pasted my shortcode and I have styled the widget by changing the typography and using a smaller text. And also in the advanced tab, I've used a custom margin and padding and also a custom background and a custom border. All right, now let's go and check out my content. As you can see here, I have changed my width to be 250 pixels instead of 350. That is the default value. All right, now let's go and publish. And when I'm on my shop page, I will see my widget appearing like this. Beautiful, right? Now, in order to be sure that these values will reflect your WooCommerce settings, you just need to go to WooCommerce. All right, you click on settings. And then you go and click on shipping. In my case, I'm selling just in Europe and I want to enable free shipping for all customers all over Europe that will spend more than 50 euros. So I go and add it here. I make sure to add a free shipping method. All right, here it is. I click on edit here and I make sure to have a free shipping based on a minimum order amount or coupon. And in my case, the minimum order amount is 60 euros. If I want, I can also decide to apply this minimum order rule before the coupon discount. And this means that if checked, free shipping will be available based on pre-discount order amount. I suggest you to leave this unchecked if you want your customers to spend at least 60 euros, regardless of the coupon codes that they will apply to the cart. So let's save changes now and let's go and check out how this is going to work in the front end. All right. We see that in our short code, we have a different value. So let's use the same that we are using in WooCommerce. So in this case, 60 euros and include discounts. It will be placed on no. This is the same value that will reflect the behavior without checking this checkbox. If you need to check this checkbox, you need to place here. Yes. All right. So in my case, I will keep it on no and I will leave the width on 220. All right. I will publish. I'll do the same also on my cart. Short code, I will place 60 and I will place this on no. All right, and I will publish. Now, when I reload the page, all right, I see that I, that I need to spend 40 euros more because in my cart, there is a 30 euros product. And this is happening because in my cart, I have also applied a discount, look. So in this case, I want the user to spend at least 60 euros on my store, regardless of the discounts that have been applied to the cart. And in fact, 30 euros minus 10 is 20. And to get to 60, I need to spend 40 euros more. If you want to change this behavior, just need to go and apply minimum order rule before coupon discount and do the same here in your show code by updating this to yes. All right, now let's go and make a quick test. In the front end, we go to the shop page. We see that we have a free shipping if we spend 60 euros. I really like this widget as I have customized it. And I add to cart a product. All right, 
Oh, great. If I spend the 30 euro more, I will get free shipping. Let's add another product. Now let's go and visit the cart page. Beautiful. I have unlocked free shipping. And look what happens if I decide to remove a product. The free shipping bar will update automatically, instantaneously on your page. And if I go back like this, I'm spending 60 euros and I get free shipping. Awesome. If you want to create this kind of e-commerce using WooCommerce and Elementor Pro, I will leave you the link of my full tutorial in the description box down below, where you will learn to create a really advanced e-commerce website using professional features like the one that you see right here. As you can see, we will be able also to create cross sales inside the cart page to let users easily add to cart more products and increase the revenue of the store. We will see how you can create a highly professional shop page with search bar, filters, categories, attributes filtering, and so on. We will see how to set up a wishlist functionality like the one that you see right now that will let the users keep track of their wishlist and easily add to cart their favorite products in a single click. We will see how to create mega menus, how to optimize everything for mobile, how to create a search bar like this one with dynamic and live results, how to customize completely the single product template, and all this by using WooCommerce and Elementor Pro. So go and check out the video linked in the description box below. Let me know what you think about this tutorial and if you have achieved the beautiful result that I'm showing you in the video. I'm pretty sure that right now you have a beautiful free shipping bar on your store. And if you are happy about it, please let me know with a thumbs up and a comment down below. I will leave you now here two of my latest video. My name is Pascal and this is WP Roads, the YouTube channel and the website where I share with you my passion and knowledge to help you create successful WordPress websites and e-commerces. So if you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe. See you in my next videos. Ciao, ciao.